So if I start shooting him, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit. It's just, I'm not able to miss him now that I'm, I can basically go up and down this entire collision point. If I, if I shoot over here, nothing, it just hit, hit nothing. It just says hit something, hit something, hit something. It's just nothing showing up. So if I aim at him, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit. It's, it's very, it's very consistent now. So as I'm working through setting up PVP uh, for this demo project, I realized that there's a slight bug. You weren't actually able to hit the other player or even the mobs that I've been showing this demo consistently. And I wasn't really sure what was happening. So I spent some time today looking into what worse them causes. If we go back to the Raycast uh, solution that I had developed, what we're doing is we're calling this check aim hit from our player input synchronizer. And that is called uh, when a player uh, left clicks on a mouse, right? So we're going to fire a weapon and then we just call fire shot over in our ray gun cast. So that's just really the setup for this whole thing. And then we pass in the origin and the camera mouse ray uh, projection, uh, which is going to give us that ability to fire a ray cast from an origin starting point through the camera mouse uh, vector that shoots out into space to wherever the mouse is clicked. Remember, we center the mouse in the middle of the screen. Well, that's really just giving us that vector so that we can calculate that ray cast out through wherever the player clicked because our mouse is locked in the center of the screen. So what we do here is we fire a ray cast out of the camera, which is the red one, and then we shoot another one out of the gun, right? We covered that in a previous video on this topic. And if the gun ray cast, which is shown in blue here, actually hits a, a mob, it'll just kill the mob, right? So that was like to get around that problem if if I was standing behind a box like this and you know I could I could shoot a mob but it shouldn't actually be able to hit him because I'm standing in front of something so it kind of alleviates that problem and yeah there's other problems like maybe there's something I think somebody mentioned you know well what about if there's something in the way of the camera well those are other issues that I'll have to basically figure out as I go and kind of debug those problems as they come up um, but so what's happening now is there's inconsistent collision detection. So let me pull up a rifle on this guy for players or the, even the mobs. Like right now I can probably shoot a mob and it'll hit him. Like, see, it took me three shots to hit that mob. And before I thought I just was a bad aim, but if I come over here and I just click on him, if you look in the terminal or in the output window down there, you'll see it's not hitting the player. Uh, but if I keep clicking there, it will. So, okay, so we got a player hit. I'm clicking and then I get one that doesn't hit. I haven't moved that and you can see in the other window there that it's it's pretty accurate with the uh the collision point where those two ray casts are colliding on the on this on this player uh it's it should be hitting him you can see that hit the wireframe of the collision box there has been hit so if we come over and use this guy and uh, i just back up a little bit and shoot anywhere that that hits the collision box it should show or register a player hit and it's not actually doing that so you can see how i'm hit i'm firing it a bunch of times uh, so there's some problem here and I, 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 I don't think it's necessarily 100% related to um, the issues we were seeing with the mob. I think there's a couple things going on here, uh, but you know, this isn't, this isn't the consistency that I wanted. So what I did to investigate this was if we go back over into the code that we have for this, this check aim function that was triggered from the player shooting, a, you know, firing the weapon with that left mouse click. It actually, we pass in uh, a couple things because it actually comes from this fire RPC, which we pass in that origin and the camera mouse projection, and we just set them to these variables accordingly. And we use those variables down here to determine the endpoint of where that ray cast is shooting out of the camera uh, lands. So we take the origin and then the endpoint, which we calculated here, the endpoint, and then we run that query in uh, against this direct space intersect ray. And we just say, hey, did, did that query detect anything? And what I'm doing here with this aim cast is just basically for debugging. So really I can just say debugging, whatever. Um, so that's what that's gonna do. And we don't really care to use this, but I'm actually using the debugger for the collision point detection. So what happens is that camera finds a collision, right? We, we, we collided with a player or a box or whatever. And and, you know, we determine that right here, but then we actually use that debugger uh, by you know uh, getting the collision point of that. And the way that we use the debugger is because I'm actually just copying over the aim cast origin that we use and I'm setting the target position, which is really the same exact thing we're doing here to get the endpoint. And then we force an update to make sure it does the calculation in real time. Uh, so I use this uh, aim cast to actually get that collision point. So then we take that collision point 
and uh, we set it to a uh, the fire cast, which is actually another debug ray cast that I wanted to use to show the ray cast coming out of the front of the gun. And we use that fire point, uh, which is just a hard coded um, point within the armature that I have attached to the right hand bone. If you if I come down here, fire point. So that's kind of hard coded. I would say make that dynamic based on whichever gun you have. But for now, I just kind of stuck it somewhere out in front of the player. So like everything kind of shoots out of the same spot. But I, I'd probably make that dynamic. But anyways, we set that fire cast, which again is supposed to be a debugging ray cast and we set the position to whatever the front of that gun is and then we make a ray cast uh to the collision point that we just got from this a aim cast here okay then we set up the target position which will draw that ray cast out into space using that uh, local collision point that we've determined here and then we force that update so we can actually detect it in real time uh so that just shows the drawing you know this just kind of just shows that drawing of the ray cast and we're not actually using this fire cast to do anything so I, I know this felt a little weird when i was developing it but now that i'm looking at it again when i'm trying to get the pvp stuff working i, I felt like there was something a little off with it so when i was reinvestigating this I, I came upon that problem where i'm not actually able to hit the player consistently and so what i'm doing here is actually creating another ray cast so we have these two debug ray casts this aim and fire ray cast and then we use this real ray cast here to see did we did the camera hit anything and then did the camera ray cast hit anything and then we do another query and we use that fire point as the origin and then of course the collision point that we got from our aim cast to create another ray cast query down here and then again we determine did we hit a mob or a player and and so on and so forth so this does feel a little kludgy now that i'm looking at it again and i think what we can do to fix that so we have a more consistent you know player hit is this fire point. The fire point is probably slightly moving, right? So when you shoot the gun, you know, you're kind of as a player, you're wobbling from the animation or whatever. And I, I think that fire point's gonna wobble a little bit. So I think what we do is because we want everything to get captured immediately, like wherever the player clicked the gun, we wanna capture that fire point as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and capture that up here. And then we'll just replace wherever we're using it. I think it's just here and here. And that way we know we have a consistent result. And I, I know that probably isn't gonna do much, but it just felt better to grab that at the beginning of this closest to the action of clicking and firing that weapon as possible so that our calculations make sense. So, you know, we're down here doing another calculation. Like, did that change? Did that fire point change? Cause we're grabbing the uh, global transform origin. Probably not, but it just feels better uh, as a better best practices to grab this at the beginning. Okay, so the other thing I thought was, well, maybe we shouldn't be using the aim cast as our collision point reference. Like that doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to use the actual results from the query. So the way to do that is we get the results out of this um, this intersection ray method call here and we'll go ahead and check, did, did we actually get a collision point? So instead of using this get collision point off our debug aim cast, let's actually use the results of the ray cast itself that we're using to calculate from the camera's perspective let's actually get the collision point from that so we'll come down here and let's grab so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and replace this aim cast get collision point with the actual results position so if we have a result and a collider we're definitely going to have a result dot position actually i think it's get and then i can just do position And that should actually get us get and that should actually get us the collision point so we don't have to go through the aim cast so we're not using our debugging aim cast which shows our camera uh ray cast coming out we don't need to use that one so then i'm thinking why are we doing this fire ray cast this debugging ray cast and also a whole other query i think there's a way to consolidate all this stuff here so what i want what i thought we could do was if we leverage this debugging fire cast over here that we're using to shoot a ray cast out of our gun if we to the collision point of the original uh, camera ray cast. If, if we're gonna go ahead and use that, let's let's actually use it for real. Let's let's turn it into an actual, you know, usable ray cast instead of just being a debug ray cast. And if we don't want to see it, we can just basically turn the visibility off over here. So the first thing I want to do is consolidate what we're doing here. Like I I don't think we need to use both a debug fire cast ray cast here and also an, run another raycast calculation I, you know i don't think it's really putting much load on the processor or whatever but i i think it, this this is just a little redundant here so the first thing i wanted to do was determine how we can consolidate this so 
Uh, instead of running this query, let's just go ahead and update our firecast. Let's just see what we collided with using the actual firecast because we're, we're setting the target position. We're setting the uh, we're getting the local collision point uh, again from above from from our result. So let's just build this firecast out of the point of the gun and use that to determine whether we've hit something. So we'll take the firecast and we'll say if firecast is colliding. Oh, it's not recognizing it because let's just do this as a ray cast 3D and then we'll be able to probably auto complete those things. Yeah, so if it is colliding, so we set the fire cast target position and then we set its global position. This basically takes the ray and orients it into space where where we want it uh, coming out of the gun. So if we're colliding, then we know we're hitting something. So we don't need to perform this other intersect ray and query here. So if I grab this logic from down here, we can basically shorten it. And instead of using the gun result down here, we can just do ray cast get collider. And then we'll just repeat that down here. And we're just checking, did we did we hit a mob or did we hit a player? And of course, this isn't going to do anything again because we don't have a collider object like that anymore. And I think what we can do is just eliminate this whole chunk of code here. And I let's just try to run it and see where we're at. Oh, let me pull out a gun. Still developing out some of this logic here. Okay. So that looks like it's working correctly. And we, we can see down in the console output there, we are hitting something. And if we switch over to our client, let's drop in player here and we'll go ahead and you can see he's oriented down there. Whoops, let me wrong guy. Okay, there we go. And if I go ahead and shoot this guy, see, we're, we're definitely hitting something, but for some reason, just it's just not detecting it consistently, right? Like it's like the fire point in front of the gun is moving or something and, and it's just not giving us that accuracy and and just to review what I'm doing. So if we look at player one, if I shoot something, it's just shooting a ray out of the camera and then we shoot another ray to wherever it collided out of the front of the gun, which you can see in blue there. And it's it, it's going to that exact collision point of where the first ray hit. And maybe that's what's causing the problem, right? Like maybe the collision point is just so accurate that it's ever so slightly off because of the wobble or wherever the fire point location is off the tip of the gun. So I was thinking, well, is there something we can do to just make it a little bit closer to accurate or to push it beyond that limit? Uh, so I just wanted to multiply this by something really small just to give it that extra oomph to see if we can get within that collision point. So if I start shooting him, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit. It's just I'm not able to miss him now that I'm I can basically go up and down this entire collision point. If I if I shoot over here, nothing. It just hit hit nothing. It just says hit something, hit something, hit something. It's just nothing showing up. So if I aim at him, player hit, player hit, player hit, player hit. It's it's very it's very consistent now. So I think this pretty much wraps it up. Let me test it on this client here. See if I can do it again. Player hit, player hit. If I shoot something over here. Shoot something over there. Okay, nothing's getting hit. If I shoot him anywhere, it should just keep hitting him. Yeah, and it, it looks like it is. It looks like it's hitting him exactly as we expect. So if we run over to mob, let's let's run over here really quick. Pull out my rifle. Should be able to just snipe him. Yep, got him. Got him. Again, this is just hitting the little collision box around them. Not the big one, but the, the inner collision box. See, I can hit near him and it's not hitting anything. And then if I click there, got him. And let's try to snipe these guys. Cool. OK, so I think we've got it fixed. And and just to do a quick review, I, I think what was going on here was I, I was doing a little too much code so we consolidate it. We're using this fire cast ray cast instead of a debugger. We're actually using it as the ray cast to detect out from our the front of our gun to wherever the camera detected a collision. And we're going to use that debug fire cast to actually detect if we hit something. And if we hit a player in a PVP scenario, we can go ahead and operate on that player as needed. So we got rid of using the aim cast, which is the camera ray cast that shoots out in the space that lines up with those crosshairs. So we're not using that for anything important, right? We were using it, or I was originally using it as our collision point. I think it would be better, more accurate to use the result of the actual camera ray cast. So, so we're gonna use the result collider or the result collision point. And we're going to actually use the fire cast, which is just basically following us around. It's just a ray cast that's detected to us, right? 
uh, or detached to us. So it's just kind of following us around and, and we reposition it uh, by setting its global position and we set up the target position and I give it just a little bit more past that actual collision point because I think it was just like right outside of the collision box. And I know at the beginning I said this was a bug or maybe an improvement on the two ray cast solution for bullet detection or bullet collision detection. And I, I think it's working better now. I, I It seems like the player's getting hit consistently. And, and again, if you guys have any feedback about this or maybe a better way to do this, or maybe I missed something, uh, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and, and please subscribe. It really helps support the channel as I got a lot more on the way. Thanks for watching.